Praxis Prepper. Wee -wee. Hey everybody, this is Praxis. I'm shooting this video here in my pantry, and if you've been watching my channel for a while, you might notice that there are an awful lot of holes in some of these pantry shelves. In fact, there's normally a shelving unit, an entire shelving unit full of stuff that would normally have been behind me that's gone at the moment. Now, that's not because I've decided to give up prepping. Far from it, what we're doing is we're building another homestead at another location, and every single time that I drive over there to do construction, I'm bringing stuff from our pantry, bringing stuff from our general stores over there. Now, that's fairly inconvenient, actually, having your pantry separated between two Two different places you know you want something and it's in one place or it's in the other place uh, but the reason I'm doing it is I feel a degree of uh, urgency uh, heading into the winter of 2020 uh, into 2021 uh, there are a lot of threats and challenges on the horizon that I'm keeping track of uh, that I feel are not really properly uh, monitored by a lot of people and in particular people from the prepping community and one of those is COVID uh, and I think that the reason for that is that it's so slow moving uh, you know, you, you think about uh, a lot of, you know, people who uh, are, are preparing for things, they think things like, you know, asteroid impacts or, you know, you know gigantic, you know, nuclear explosions, things like that, uh, th where like one day the world is fine and then the next day everything is in chaos. But a lot of stuff doesn't run that way. Uh, a lot of things are slow and incremental and COVID is one of those. If you think about 9-11. Uh, uh, you know, we had about 3,000 people killed on 9-11 and the entire United States turned itself upside down, some ways good, some ways bad, uh, but, it, you know, the idea was they wanted to say never again, we're not going to have that keep happening. At this point with COVID, we have about two 9-11s happening per week, but we've slowly worked ourselves up to this, so people have kind of uh, become used to it. Uh, at this point. And uh, there are a lot of uh, situations that are like that. The uh, hurricane season uh, the, and the typhoon season this year have been unprecedented. We've never seen anything like this before, but we've slowly worked ourselves up to this. There's all sorts of environmental uh, cataclysms coming down the road. There are uh, species extinctions happening right now. And all these things uh, are slow. They're slow moving stuff. And they're the types of things that people don't really tend to focus on because, I don't know, maybe just because they're not exciting. You know, it's not that kind of uh, Hollywood movie kind of thing where it's like everything was fine until blank and then everything wasn't fine and then it's exciting and dramatic and it's enjoyable to watch. Uh, but that doesn't mean that these slow moving types of things aren't important and it doesn't mean that they are not going to have a major impact on your life. Uh, just as in another example of a slow moving thing, the lighting for this video. It started off like this. Here's a still image from, uh, you know, what things were like at the beginning, beginning of this video. And here's what things are like right now. And they're continuing to change. Even right now, they, they're changing at the same rate that I've had them changing throughout the entire video. But you can hardly notice it because it's happening so slowly. And I think it's really important to uh, not forget to focus on those types of things. I know it's not exciting and it's not sexy and it's not... It doesn't give you that uh, existential thrill of the idea of it's like, you know, one man or one woman against, you know, whatever this horrible, you know, day and night kind of change is uh, occurring, uh, you know, in the Hollywood movie that you're watching. But, you know, these kinds of changes, they're big, they impact lots of people. And uh, it's really because of the fact that they are boring and that people don't pay them much attention or they like to pretend that they're not happening. Um, they can have an even worse impact. You know, just with the idea of species extinction, if you go back in time and not literally, figuratively, and look at uh, mass extinctions in the past, you know, y you think about them uh, in the past as though the time was compressed almost. But uh, those mass extinctions happened over large, large spans of time. And in fact, the mass extinctions that we're seeing right now on our planet at this moment are happening faster than those mass extinctions that happened in the past. And those mass extinctions in the past clearly had a huge impact on life on this planet. And if you consider, again, the idea that the mass extinctions occurring right now are happening faster than those, it shows you how slowly things can happen, uh, but still have a huge impact. You know, you look out your window and it's the same animals out there all the time. You'd never even notice that there's mass extinctions happening because they happen so slowly, but they have an impact. And that impact can be on the world, on your country, on your community, on your family. And just because these things are happening slowly doesn't mean they're not important. So look at those kind of slow moving things. Uh, it can help protect you from, uh, you know, taking your eye off the ball and possibly having your whole world, without you even noticing it, slip into darkness. <laughs> That's it. And thanks for watching.
This episode is brought to you in part by Burning Hearth Homestead, a nonprofit that aims to provide seeds, live plants, and education to the community, both local and extended. Plant seeds, plant knowledge, plant the future. If you'd like to thank them for supporting this channel or find out more about what they do, go to burninghearthhomestead.org. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.